English as an Additional Language series adjusting to Australian culture. What you should know first, if Australia is a new culture for you, there are some things you should expect. These include a new climate, new foods, new sights and sounds, new social rules, different and new academic rules, different patterns of behaviour, new language both in academics and in everyday speech, strange accents with wide variations, and an increased pace of language among native speakers, which means that you may struggle to follow Australian speakers at first. These can all act as stresses as you are adapting, so be prepared to face them. There are four stages of adjustment. The first is the honeymoon phase. This is when you first arrive and you feel excited and eager. You're not missing your home or your family at this stage. And the new things that you are seeing makes you happy and motivated. And you see these differences as being positive. The length of this phase varies from person to person. In the second phase, the hostility phase, people may start to feel lonely, isolated, and miss their family and friends. They might feel misunderstood by Australian people and in Australian culture and start to feel hostile. This will lead to withdrawal and avoidance of people and critically a disengagement with study. The third phase is called the humor phase. And this is when people begin to see the humorous or the light side of the challenges that they're facing and they reduce the blame that they direct towards Australian culture and accept the new environment as it becomes more familiar and more predictable. The last stage is known as the at-home phase and this is when you start to feel truly comfortable in the local culture and enjoy the lifestyle and the customs and the food and start to feel safe in the environment. It's also a time when you've developed more friendships and you feel a bit more stable in your environment and therefore you feel a bit more outgoing. So it's likely that you will go through these stages and experiences these things. It's very common. Another common effect that people can come across is what is termed as culture shock. And culture shock can be a lack of ability to cope with the situation. And there are a number of different uh, symptoms that can appear their appearance is not a problem, it's what you do when they appear. And so there are some resilience strategies that you can employ when you start to feel like you're going into culture shock. The first is to stay healthy. And this means eating well, getting enough sleep, drinking plenty of water, getting enough exercise, and being attentive to your own health and safety and, and personal hygiene and well-being. The next thing that you can do is to use some coping tools or coping strategies. These are things like meditation or exercise, going to church, doing social activities, going for a walk down the street, cooking with friends, going to the beach, attending a movie, doing an art and craft, something that helps you reduce your stress levels. Another resilient strategy is to seek help. And this is very, very important. Some people feel embarrassed to seek help, but talking to someone is the best way to get over problems. So it might be a friend, it might be someone in your class, it might be a learning advisor or an academic staff member, someone from the international student support team or one of the psychologists and wellbeing officers. The key point here is there are many people to talk to. Don't be afraid. Everybody goes through it and everybody needs help sometimes. The other thing that it's really important to do is to plan your academic load early. So this means setting time for your physical, emotional, mental needs, as well as making sure that you are having time for study, starting and finishing uh, assignments early rather than leaving them to the last minute. If you leave these things to the last minute, it's very likely you will become stressed. So they're the four key resilience strategies. If you need any other help, please contact us at learning at jcu.edu.au.